Hi there, welcome to I Wanna Learn Malay, where we aim to teach simple spoken Malay to non native speakers. In this video, we'll look into how to form questions. First up, how do we ask? How are you? How are you? Awa apa kaba? Awa apa kaba? Normally, in conversations with a second person, we can get by by omitting references to you or awa. So in this case, um, we don't need to add awa at the end because it implies that we are asking to whomever we are talking to how they are doing. So we can get by with just apakaba. So we're talking to a second person, so we're asking them how they are doing. Next, where are you from? Where are you from? How do you ask that? Awak dari mana? Awak dari mana? Again, if we are asking a second person, um, we can omit uh, references to awa or you um, in, in, in Malay because if you just ask dari mana, um, it is understood because it implies that we are asking them what, where they are from. So how do we ask where is he from or where is she from? Dia dari mana? Dia dari mana? So if we are asking about another person, a third person, um, he or she, we can't omit references um, or the word dia in this case um, because we are asking um, where is the third person from, so dia. So dia means he or she. So the next set of questions, how do you ask, where are you going? Or where do you want to go? Awak nak pergi mana? Awak nak pergi mana? So the meaning of nak pergi in this case is want to go. So if you're asking, where do you want to go? is awak nak pergi mana? Again, if you're asking a second person, um, the person that you're talking to, you can just ask nak pergi mana? So you don't need awak in front. So it's simply asking the other person nak pergi mana? It's understood that you're asking them where are they going? Next, how do you ask? When did you arrive? When did you arrive? Awak bila sampai? Awak bila sampai? We can also form the question by asking Bila awak sampai? Bila awak sampai? Or just Bila sampai? Bila sampai? Because again, it's the second person so we can omit using awa in this case. So this is how generally spoken Malay works. Because in conversations, um, sometimes if you're talking to another person, you can omit uh, references to each other, uh, even sometimes references to yourself. You don't need to refer to yourself as saya or um, you don't need to re reference the other person as awa because you're having a, a conversation back and forth. So it just it's just um, references to what you did or what what you're going to do or where you're going or where have you been. Um, we can just reference the action in the sentence. Next, when did he arrive? When did he arrive? Bila dia sampai? Bila dia sampai? Or you can ask, 
Dia sampai bila? Dia sampai bila? This is also used for she. So if you're asking when did she arrive, it's also bila dia sampai. So next, let's attempt a longer sentence or question. How do I go to Malacca from here? How do I go to Malacca from here? Macam mana saya nak pergi Melaka dari sini? Macam mana saya nak pergi Melaka dari sini? Like I mentioned before, we can omit references to yourself or to the second person. So you, if you ask, Macam mana nak pergi Melaka dari sini? Macam mana nak pergi Melaka dari sini? You most probably also get an answer because you're just asking um, how how can I how can someone go to Malacca from here? The other way of asking this question is to put the um, question word macam um, mana at the end. So if you ask nak pergi Melaka dari sini macam mana, it's also fine because you'll get by and you'll get an answer because you're asking that person um, how um, the means to get to Malacca from where you are. So um, in Malay, you can put the question word in front or you can put the question word um, at the back or sometimes in, even in the middle. Um, so um, grammatically, it might not be correct, but in spoken Malay, it's understood naturally it, 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 because it simplifies the way we speak. So um, uh, everyone can understand you. So the last question, how do you go to school? How do you go to school? Macam mana awak pergi sekolah? Or, awak pergi sekolah macam mana? So, as you can see um, through this lesson, it's easy to form questions. Um, you just need the question word, the subject, and what is um, the action or um, the question. Um, so, hopefully that's easy enough for you. So, a bit of a recap, some of the words that we learned in this lesson, here they are. 